Hello, then welcome back to France. Uh, sorry for cluttering up basically yesterday's recordings. They were not in the order they were supposed to be, which is uh, kind of bad. I do apologize for that. And that is enough now. Uh, we are nearing the end of this game. Finally, I guess. It should be done by the end of the week. And uh, my new Sweden game now is actually going rather well. So uh, that should also be ready potentially at the start of uh, next week. So no worries there. It is coming, so but surely. We are most likely going to be finding the Ottomans in this, uh, well, in this episode. We did some conquering of natives, we had some fun rebel moments and things like that. But uh, right now, we are slowly but surely closing in on the moment where we will be able to, uh, well, basically go ahead and uh, complete this Georgia, and then we'll get the other one from, uh, from the Ottomans. So uh, I'll go ahead and wait, and we'll see what happens. There shouldn't be too much uh, happening right now, we will uh, just peacefully wait. I did say last time that we could get a union with uh, Askasi Poland, but that is uh, no longer possible because they've gotten themselves in there. So uh, for now, we will uh, sit back and wait, and uh, we'll see how this turns out. So while we were waiting for the war against the Ottomans, the next war against them, Poland has decided to make moves of their own and go after Lithuania here. Uh, I guess we can accept, there's no good reason not to. Poland is, after all, our ally, the only one we currently have. And to be perfectly honest, finding Lithuania shouldn't be that much of a problem. Neither is fighting Oldenburg. Hilarious enough now, Brandenburg has also ceased to exist. They have been split into several smaller countries here, so potentially the whole Roman Empire might, to some degree, make a recovery here. But as you can see, it's highly unlikely, so uh, we'll have to see how we want to deal with that. I will improve relations with Alsace though, and we'll probably go ahead and annex them as well as uh, Albania when we can. So we'll improve relations with them and then we'll start the annexation, hopefully, before the Ottoman War. We'll hand some problems over to them, of course, but uh, the annexation should be done basically rather quickly, I dare say. Now this war with Lithuania is going to be a little bit interesting because we are going to start the war here with the Ottomans rather soon. So in terms of how far or how long this war will last before we, well, most likely will just abandon it, I'm a little bit uncertain. But uh, I think I'll leave most of it of in the hands of my, uh, of my, uh, well, ally Poland. I don't really see how they would not be able to handle the, the enemy here. I'm pretty sure they can do so without my interference, basically. If not, I'll just send a 48 stack or something like that over to do some wiping up, like here. Getting rid of Oldenburg's army, very easy. And it seems like Bohemia is more or less already conquered, so I'm going to send this army and help with the north, and then we're just going to slowly but surely make our way uh, make our way south in, uh, in that aspect. Now, the peace with the Ottomans runs out in April, meaning that I can declare war in May, so uh, I'll just allow timing to run up to uh, set point, and then I'll uh, get back to you. I just realized that the policies here might actually be a good thing to have, because right now I'm not really lacking military power. So we're going to take a couple of military policies here to uh, help myself out. We'll take the Inspirational Leaders, which basically gives me Land Leader Shock. It's valuable early game, but not so much now. But the Army Tradition will definitely be helpful. And we'll go for the uh, Hired Adventurers, because that will give me another 10% on manpower, bring me close to that 1 million mark, and uh, it will also increase my land leader maneuver, maneuver value by 1. I'm also very tempted right now to take the uh, Lake Timothy thing here to help myself out a little bit, but uh, I think I uh, will leave that alone. I think I will also most likely take the Vassal Integration Act here, because we have a fair amount of admin power. And I will take this once we get closer to actually starting to annex uh, Albania, for instance, and everyone else. But I just realized in order to start the annexations, I have to actually not be at war. It's a hilarious fact that I forgot. So uh, we will most likely do that as soon as the war is done. So it will take a little bit of time before we can actually start making, uh, well, making some movements with uh, annexations in mind. So we'll be waiting just a tiny bit longer before anything of the sort happens, so uh, there's that. But 
The war with the Ottomans is getting closer now. As I said, truce has expired. We we'll just have to wait until 1st of May. And uh, let's just uh, start the party. The war will be very simple. I think we're just going to go for take the course that... Uh, you know what, let's just go for take capital Adana. That should work. Where are the capital now? Isn't Adana right here? Yes, it is. So, Mogadishu, Tunis, Hajjals, and Kassan. It's going to be a little bit awkward, especially Kassan. But uh, I'm pretty sure we can handle this rather easily. And crushing the Ottomans could be a little bit of a, well, large task. I do admit that. But it shouldn't be anything that uh, would be a huge problem to us, I dare say. So let's just start this war, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty sure we'll get it easily done. But if there's any bigger battles, I'll show you as usual. And other than that, I think we'll uh, just get going here and see how uh, see how things turn out. As I said, I can't expect this to take too long. We have a very skilled army, so I would expect us to be able to get the the conquest and everything done here rather rapidly. I'll be back shortly. I kind of forgot, but we can take yeah, ideas here. Uh, since we're fighting the Ottomans right now, and I might take a little land for myself, we're not going to be taking anything on the expansion tree just yet. We will, however, upgrade our diplomatic tech here to level 29, Midshipmen Cadets, which is naval morale increased by 50, or sorry, 0.5, but maintenance increased by 25%, which is not too good, but uh, it's something we can live with. Anyways, with that said, again here we'll go back to uh, doing conquests. Why can't I go there? Is there a fortress in Biga? Well, let's just move over here then and siege uh, this from I would guess it's actually the Adin fortress that is messing me, uh, messing me up here in terms of I am not allowed to move to certain areas. I would expect so at least. Um, shouldn't be too much of a deal though, we'll siege the area and then uh, everything should be fine. But uh, with that said, I'll just, as I said, allow the war to go on and uh, we'll see how things turn out. So there was a battle in Rian Sarnia that I did not actually pay attention to. They sent a rather large army to deal with my army, which is kind of bad. Also Kassan is currently causing trouble, as you can see they lost barely 10,000, they didn't even lose 10,000. Where we lost basically almost 25. So it was a devastating loss. Very bad. Uh, they're going to retreat rather fast, so I don't have no concerns there. I need to end the Lithuanian war here rather quickly, so I'll pay a little bit more attention to that war, just so I can get basically my troops here released, I can focus on Kazan and basically the Crimean area. But uh, with that said, right now we are more or less getting closer to that point on our own. Very close now to. Are you actually? Ah, uh, we're getting very close to a point where we can well start being a little bit more aggressive. Currently, we haven't actually had a battle with the Ottomans yet, which I find surprising. But as you can see right now, we are going to have one. So I would definitely like it if I could have those guys retreat. But it does not seem to be too likely. We'll probably have to retreat through battle. So it's going to be very interesting to see just how this is going to continue, especially with. Uh, well, how harsh things will be with our number two to one. They have a, well, they have a decent shockwise general, but otherwise it isn't really that good. We have a, well, the benefit of high morale. We have the same uh, military tactics. And in terms of troop numbers, they are numerous by far. So let's just see how this battle goes. We will most likely lose the entire stack, I would presume. Can we retreat now? We can. And as you can see, we didn't actually lose any cannons because they weren't in the front line. And they did actually lose a decent amount of troops. 11,000 when they had numbered us 2 to 1. I didn't have a general, they did. They took the more, more war exhaustion too, which is hilarious. But uh, it's not the greatest thing ever. I do definitely need to get my army tradition, tradition up again. But uh, currently things are going, uh, going rather well, even so. But... Uh, with that said, we'll continue this war. I'll have these two more or less stand in, uh, well, a standby formation, I guess. And I will slowly but surely move forward here. It's probably going to just take a little bit longer than usual. Kassan has also a decent amount of force. 
So uh, I think we must focus here on just getting Lithuania out of the fold. I should potentially move some more troops into Lithuania, and I will move another stack. And the funny thing here is, as you can see, Poland and Milan is focusing on dealing with Oldenburg right now. So I'll go ahead and siege uh, Bohemia's capital, try and get them out of it while they they deal with Oldenburg. And hopefully here we can start moving in on Kassan in northern areas rather soon, because right now they are causing some, uh, well, massive trouble. I think I might move this army into the northern area and just try and siege Kassan from the bottom up, because my troops should be able to handle theirs in a, well, rather easy fashion. I should probably just still focus on military, just so I could get that uh, new tech, because it gives military tactics, as you can see, it gives morale and it gives flanking range, all which are very, very powerful tools in, uh, in military, well, this game's military combat. So I should definitely have cons considered, not concerned, but considered uh, doing said thing, but uh, can't really do anything right now. But uh, we are going to challenge an Ottoman army, I think. We'll have to see just how that goes. So we'll have these guys stop in Sinop, and we'll join up 248,000 armies and use that as, uh, well, a battering force, if you will. But, well, they should be able to get the job done. I'll uh, get back to you once we have the next battle going. I'll not be focusing on Russia for the time being. I don't see a, well, good reason to. They should be able to handle the problem themselves. Or Basically, it doesn't really matter if they siege Russia, because my war exhaustion isn't really going to go up by that much. As you can see, thanks to my Defender of Faith, I'm currently losing war exhaustion, even if they've started occupying some of my fortresses in the, in the region. So again, it's no reason to be concerned right now, and uh, that's more or less how I like it. Uh, do I want to do this, or do I want to take advantage? I think we'll take advantage. But anyways, with that said, we'll slowly but surely move forwards here. It's very close now to a battle. These two armies are going to be joined together, and I might actually be able to, with their combined force, to just steamroll through the, uh, the Ottoman army here, which would be, to some degree, rather hilarious. Let's just see if we have a better one. I actually have a five fire general here in the New Tocqueville, which is one of my conquistadors, so uh, I can definitely use him to my advantage here. But uh, let's just see how we do against this 40,000 man army with two negative modifiers. Their morale is incredibly low compared to mine, but we did a complete wipe, as you can see. Numbers are such a huge advantage this late. So if this continues, what we will be able to here is just do a complete wipe of most of the Ottoman army. And potentially then I could by extension just use this army to wipe most of Kazan's army as well. Which would be hilarious. Now are these guys going to be able to get there to defend? No they won't. So another Ottoman wipe. Huge wipe. Now let's see, where are you guys going? You're going to Guria on the 8th of August. Still going to Guria. I think they're... Ah, uh, damn it! I thought I had the movement locked on that day. Let's see. And what happens when we challenge the fifth thousand army in, with a minus two modifier? It should be a wipe again. Although our forces have taken some losses, they will be able to escape. That's uh, that's a given here. And my forces will have to retreat. But uh, the losses were, well, they came out on the better end. They did lose a uh, far more troops, but uh, they came out on the better end altogether. Well, all considered. So. Not the best thing ever, but it works. It is uh, it is beneficial to us, which is what matters. But uh, I'll split my armies up here, and we'll start uh, or keep on with the sieges, and uh, things should get rather interesting. I was a little bit too interested in that battle, and as a result, here, as you can see, my troop management have been incredibly bad. So uh, we'll see how things turn out here, but I think we should be able to get back, uh, well, get back in winning form rather soon. So I ended up here being attacked by a Kassan army. Now, Kassan is interesting because they are very close to me. They are westernized. They actually have more morale than the Ottomans, so they are kind of a strong enemy here. But unfortunately for them, I actually do have an army coming in to aid me myself, and due to their discipline being 5% lower than mine, they, well, get more casualties in battle. Sadly, we already had our good king here dying, which is very bad. Uh, French treasure fleet arrived, kill some extra money, stability drop from the king dying, 3 to 0 is now ruling, 
which is crap because that brings my military gain to zero points but again military points are not that important right now they're only going to be used for tech and I still gain a fair amount of admin and diplomatic power so all in all it's not a very or a crap situation the areas of 3, 4, uh, 2 so can't complain there either but the warrior with the Ottomans is basically done all that's needed to do is just siege the area that I want and then everyone would think will be over I think I will also take Manic, Astrakhan, Terek and Taki, although I'm pretty sure I don't need them just for safety's sake and also to clean up the map a little bit and of course Astrakhan is the center of trade so it'll bring me in a tiny bit more money but yeah I'm going to take these promises from Kassan just to be safe but uh, we're going to con continue this next time thank you for watching please have a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like and I'll see you next time bye